Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Sally Nugent and Dan Walker this morning. Our headlines for you today. The year-long public sector pay freeze is to end. The Chancellor says it will mean millions of workers should get a rise next year. And a pay rise for some in the private sector too. The national living wage goes up to £9.50 an hour if you're over the age of 23. But many businesses say they just can't afford it. The Metropolitan Police are to apologise to the family of two murdered sisters for failings in the way they responded when they were reported missing. We say oh, it's nothing to do with us and cross our, cross our uh, arms. Uh, we caused it. And now, before it's too late, David Attenborough issues a warning to the world's leaders ahead of the COP26 climate summit. Good morning, feeling the pressure. Good morning. Today's going to be unseasonably mild for us all. There'll be rain at times in the northern half of the country, a fair bit of cloud for the rest of us, and it's also going to be windy. I'll have all the details in about nine minutes. Good morning. It is Tuesday, the 26th of October. Millions of public sector workers are in line for a pay rise next year after it was announced the Chancellor is to end the year-long pay freeze. Ahead of tomorrow's budget, Rishi Sunak said it was right that public sector workers should see their wages go up with uh, better-than-expected economic conditions. Here's more from our political correspondent, Nick Erdley. 